Let's talk about Billy Batson and how he works in my DC Cinematic Universe. My Billy Batson was born in 1933, so by the events of my first Justice Society movie, he is 11 years old. He was chosen as a champion by Mamaragon, aka Shazam, the son of Naboo, aka Fate, aka Destiny of the Endless. Because of Billy Batson's pure soul, he was granted the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the endurance of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. And when he utters the magical word Shazam, he turns into Captain Marvel. When Billy finds out what's happening across the seas during World War II, he knows he can't just stand by and do nothing. He has this amazing power and he needs to use it to help people. So he says Shazam and turns into his adult form. And then as this guy, he joins the military lying about his actual birth date. The adult Billy Batson becomes a captain in the military and gets assigned to Task Force X to fight the Germans. He's a founding member of the Justice Society of America and he's in all three Justice Society movies and one Justice League movie in my DC Cinematic Universe. During the events of my first Justice Society movie, Billy is 11 years old and when he says Shazam, he turns into his adult form. My next Justice Society movie is set like 30 years later, so Billy would be 40 years old and he'd be played by the actor who who plays Shazam. So just when he says the word, just the suit happens around him. He'd look exactly the same. And then in my final Justice Society movie set 10 to 20 years later, he'd be either 50 or 60 years old. And before you start with your weirdly stupid ageist comments that you wouldn't watch a 50 year old superhero, Carl Urban as Billy Butcher was 50 in this whole season of The Boys. He, this is what a 50-year-old man looks like, okay? So shut the fuck up. You're gonna watch this little boy's entire life, so help me God. We all know this guy. This is Captain Marvel, Billy Batson. When he says the magical word Shazam, he gets the wisdom of Solomon, strength of Hercules, stamina of Atlas, power of Zeus, courage of Achilles, and speed of Mercury. But this is Black Adam. He also says Shazam. But did you know he doesn't get his powers from the same set of gods? In the comics, they have changed who the gods he gets his powers from, like, three different times. So, here are the gods he gets his powers from in my DC Cinematic Universe. When Black Adam says Shazam in my DC Cinematic Universe, he gets the speed of Shu, the fury of Horus, aka Hawkman, the strength of Apis, the wisdom of Zehuti, which is another name for Thoth, the life of Anubis, whose death, and this, this why is immortal and invulnerable, and the light of Montu, and this is just sort of the, that's lightning, kind of. And this is where I get real fucking fun with it. So! These are his powers, an amalgamation of different gods and different animals that represent said gods, right? Well, if you watched my video about the Egyptian gods and how they work in my DC Cinematic Universe, you'd know that Black Adam has a lot to do with those guys, right? He's pretty close to Osiris, who in my universe is Vandal Savage, and to Horus, who in my universe is fucking Hawkman. So this is just a fun little idea I had. So hey, fans of Egyptian mythology, let me ask y'all a question. Who was considered... A very close, almost brother-like figure to Osiris, who killed Osiris and was an enemy to Horus. One who is symbolized by having an amalgamation of animal features with their weird animal form as a god. Who is the Egyptian god of thunder, lightning, storms, fury, evil? Who could possibly get that legacy after killing most of the Egyptian gods? It's set in my DC Cinematic Universe. Black Adam's god name was Set. Black Adam is Set. Set is Black Adam. Fuck yeah, dog.